invited into two different homes where this treatment is being called a miracle. Cannabis to these kids is now part of their everyday routine. The parents say they were out of options, ready to try anything to help their children. Now they're saying it's the best thing to ever happen to them. It's bedtime at the Edgelini house. We're brushing your teeth, and good night kisses are a must. The nighttime ritual starts with family dinner Amen. and some outside skateboarding and wraps up with a nightly dose of cannabis. Yes, that's right. Every night before bed, these two little boys sip down a strain of marijuana. It tastes pretty gross, but it's good for they don't smoke it, they take it along with their prescriptions. Because this too is from a doctor. Parents Shannon and David say cannabis oil has changed their two sons' lives and has even saved five year old Ollie's. And he was averaging four seizures a day. And then comes the cannabis and it stops like that. Ollie was diagnosed with an incurable cancer, histiocytosis, at 18 months. After his mother, Shannon, discovered a grapefruit sized tumor on his shoulder. In and out of hospitals, Ollie underwent chemotherapy. I've been in the hospital for two years. The chemo finally put Ollie's cancer to sleep, but the five year old was left with some battle scars, diabetes insipidus, and epilepsy. I hate seizures. One time I even had a crazy one. That crazy one put Ollie in the hospital for five days. That's when Shannon had enough and told her doctor she wanted to put him on cannabis. I called 130 doctors from San Diego to Oakland trying to find somebody to write a recommendation for my son. Eventually, Shannon got a medical marijuana card for her son, finally finding a doctor who would help her out. She gave Ollie his first dose of cannabis oil on a colored marshmallow on August 18th, 2014. I held on to it and I cried. But just please, God, let this work. Then watched him around the clock waiting for a seizure to come. And at a week without a seizure, I couldn't look at him without crying. Ollie has now been seizure free for almost two years. He was also on several different types of seizure medications. Those two are now gone. But now he's not taking the oil alone. His brother, seven year old Joey, is on the autism spectrum and has OCD and ADHD along with Tourette's. You've seen how active he can be. Um, and that's not even half of how he was. Shannon decided to try cannabis oil on him about a year ago. The effects are clear. This is Joey when we tried interviewing him early in the night. As you can see, he's having a hard time keeping his feet still. With me, it helps me not to be wild, because I'm really wild. But just 30 minutes after taking the oil, Joey becomes a completely different child, calmly on the couch watching Netflix. It's like he can take a deep breath. He can think without thinking in circles. And beyond the Edgelini home, cannabis oil is being administered in other Central Valley families. In early March, the Mendoza family has found their own version of success with the drug. Five year old Viviana Mendoza takes cannabis oil too, but hers is in liquid form and goes in through her feeding tube. This way we know we're getting like the full effects of the oil. Viviana suffered severe brain damage when she was born. This video taken when she was just two shows how unresponsive. Responsive she was before the oil. She stared off in the distance a lot. I felt like she was here, but she wasn't really here all the time. She's been on the oil for over a year. Do you want to change it? Yes, the smile means yes. I know you're so smart. Now she responds. She interacts. Can you look at mama? Hi, thank you. Good looking at me. She plays with an iPad. Doesn't have the strongest fine motor skills. She's even said a word. Yeah. And blown a kiss. Can you blow me a kiss? I didn't think that I would see her like this. A family who was told their daughter wouldn't make it through her first night now seeing a new life in her eyes. So I'm just elated that she's able to let us know how she feels and that she's here and she's present and that she's not just locked up like they thought she would be. Whether this controversial drug is a miracle medicine for anyone, let alone children, is still up for debate. This doctor agreed to speak with us about his experience. He asked to remain anonymous, but tells us he has worked with dozens of children taking medical cannabis, including the three you've just met. He says it's a treatment that is revolutionary. In over 20 years, it's one of the best things that I've seen as far as having some 
extremely positive effects with medically fragile special needs kids. He says the only problem is the legality. He says all of his patients are taking the oil legally, but many children are not. Most parents are going to do whatever they need to do for their child. He says some parents have an adult get the medical marijuana card, then give the marijuana to the child. And the product may not be the best for the kid. Because not every plant is the same. The environment, pesticides, weather, all leaving different traces on the same drug, which makes a different medicine every time. That's where the cannabis oil comes into play. The technology comes from Colorado that takes out some of the guesswork. It was developed by two chemists, Steve Ball and Michael Turcott. After um, it's formulated and compounded, then we can check the final product to see if we hit the target so that the same thing's being delivered repeatedly. It's called Canaprint. It's one of a kind and fairly new. They say this is what makes the oils these kids are taking different than what happens when an individual smokes marijuana. He doesn't know if you smoke the same thing twice in a year. Even medical experts who support the use of medical cannabis say they're not sure how or why it helps. Only that it has active ingredients that our brains respond to. There's something in our brain that recognizes that chemical, but then what happens after that? We're not really sure. The main chemicals are THC and CBD, but dozens of compounds are stirred in. And it can be a pricey treatment. A prescription for each child costs almost $200 a month. There's no help from insurance. What we don't know is what's next for the drug, or if it will ever be easy for children with debilitating conditions to access it. What we do know is there are scientists who say it works, doctors who say it cures, and parents who say it's a miracle. My five year old's probably the most prolific cannabis user I know of, but he's also alive from it. In Fresno, Janelle Baluda, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.